Welcome to Manistee News. He's Zach. I'm James. And today's episode is brought to you by Overhaul Renovations. They've got you covered. Uh, a few things to get into today. Number one, the MAPS millage passed. It passed. It, I'm assuming that's a good thing. I guess it depends on which side of the line that you uh, fell on. But uh, we did have some really interesting back and forth and some spirited comments on, on Facebook the, on, Facebook, on the yeah. Manistee News Advocates Facebook page when they posted uh, their article about the passing of the millage. One of my personal favorites was thank you Manistee with the heart emojis, <laughs> but it was in the color of the chips. It was in the color of the chips, the blue and gold. Yep, very nice, yep, very, yep. very blue good and comment. Gold colors, really like that. We had another comment that said hooray. So I'm assuming that means they were uh, they were they were happy that the millage passed. Yes. There was also a couple negative ones. To um, say the least. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a big decision for sure. Let's see here. Which one were we going to go with? We were going to go with... Yeah, this one here, number three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Cannot believe this went through. Seniors pay enough for these ungrateful ch children and their non-working unemployed parents. Let them foot the bill. Not everyone fits in this category, and I'm sorry for who I may offend, but... Have you taken a look at our up-and-coming middle ages and young adults? Wow. I'm, 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 I am glad that this person apologized within that comment for offending anybody. And we do need to, we do need to have both sides of the court. So. We do need to have both sides. I mean, I do have young kids that go to school, yeah, and I don't and think they're... I look at know, myself in the mirror every forward. day, too, so yeah. it's... We're employed. Anyways, um, let's see... Yep, one more. One more really good one here was, this is another great example of how every vote counts, and that is that is very true. Yes, you've got it. Every vote counts, and we're going to move on to local events. You've got the calendar yep, there. I, I got the, the calendar, calendar right here. here. Again, Where is our calendar from? The Manistee County Visitors Bureau. So if you want your event talked about on Manistee News, get it on this calendar so we can talk about it. So we have a couple of events the Come On, Come On, Come On exhibit by Jeff Borgo is going on at the Ramsdale Center for the Arts. It's an ongoing uh, exhibit. Yep. Go check that cool. out. Support the arts. Yes. Onekama Lions Community Dinner and Settlers and Shoreline Celebration. Yep, that's going to be really cool. The Onekama Lions Club is going to be celebrating the Sesquint centennial celebration <laughs> and they're going to have historical presentations yep. there on settlers and uh the shoreline so that'll be pretty cool if you have it will be cool check that out. I, I like the uh the local history 14th 5 30 to 7 30 yes we yeah. also have the lake gulls blossom boulevard fundraiser for those of you that don't know lake gulls is a new eatery down at fifth avenue beach Year one last year, they're going in the year two this year. They do really good things down there. Yep, that is also on the 14th. All right, I believe that's really it for our event calendar for now. Yep, light going for the end of May, but June and July seems to be picking up. Again, if you want your event talked about on this show or you want more people to know about your event, please get it on the Visitors Bureau calendar. Uh, reach out to those fine folks. You can reach them on the, through their website. All right, we're moving on to sports. Let's a lot go. Of action in sports. You go right ahead, sir. All right, Manistee Boys Golf. We have a couple going on. Let's see here. We have on the 19th, they're playing Muskegon Catholic at Muskegon Catholic, 3 30 p.m. Moving over to the girls' tennis. And this is going to be. Uh, Ludington, 9 a.m. at Ludington on the 14th. We also have T.C. Christian on the 17th at T.C. Christian at 4.30 p.m. And, oh man, they got regionals coming up. That's on the 20th to be announced. Moving over to the girls' soccer. They've been having a pretty solid season. We have Muskegon Catholic at 5.30 p.m. on the... Oh, 
Let me go back one. Sorry. On the 14th, that's Friday, Mason County Central at 6 p.m., followed by on the 17th, which is Monday, at Muskegon Catholic, 5.30 p.m., followed by Ludington on the 19th at home, 6 p.m. Rounding out the rest of the Chippewas athletic schedule, the Manistee Track and Field uh, on the 14th, Friday the 14th, the Lake 8 Championship at 4 p.m., 21st is regionals, and the sixth, or the excuse me, the fifth of June is the finals. Both of those are to be announced uh, for Manistee baseball. On the 15th is the club invite at 10 a.m., and then on the 18th they're going to be at Ludington, and then Ludington on the 20th at home. Finishing up with softball again, club invite, the 350 club invite, 10 a.m. on the 15th. At Ludington on the 18th, Ludington at home on the 20th. Go Chips. And we got some Saber yes, stuff too. Yes, we do have the Manistee Catholic Central Sabres. On the 15th, the track team will be at Manton, 10 a.m. On Monday the 17th, we have a golf conference meet. And that's at Pentwater at 1 p.m. The boys baseball and girls softball play at Mason County Eastern at 4.30 p.m. And on the 18th, baseball and softball, uh, they are at Bear Lake at 4.30 p.m. Yeah, that rounds out our local sports for Manistee. If anybody out there wants their school within the Manistee County, talked about it on the Manistee News, Get a hold of us and we'll start putting out that information as well as we go forward as the show evolves we'll have more events to talk about more local news to talk about more scores more scores yeah i'm excited i'm excited for where this show is going to go and i hope you are too zach mm -hmm. and i hope you are too watching at home so have a good evening everybody have a good night